this fine Saturday morning, well actually afternoon, it's nearly 1pm. I went out last night, you can probably tell. <laughs> I didn't drink too much to be honest, it's more the lack of sleep and change of routine, it's just absolutely wiped me. But I thought, you know, I'd just catch up, it's been a while. Apologies that you have to look at my mug like this, but yeah, I've done my skincare, but I'm not doing anything else, so I'm afraid you'll just have to put it with my bare face. <laughs> so yeah, I went out last night. My husband actually said to me the other night, seriously, you seem to go out more now since you've had Ellery than what you actually used to do before, but obviously, before Ellery we were you know trying and stuff so I wasn't really into going out and drinking and all of that stuff and then I was pregnant and it's not really fun going out and doing that sort of stuff when you're pregnant so <laughs> it's been a long time coming really but last night was great I went out with some good friends Ellie, Hayley and Sarah and we went to the Cozy Club for dinner, which was really nice. I've never been there before. And then we went to Bongo's Bingo. Oh my goodness. If you've never been there before, <laughs> I would recommend it. It is really funny. It's, yeah, it's a really just fun night out. It's yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's basically, you, you play bingo, which, you know, doesn't sound maybe all that fun to everybody, but it has like a major twist on it, so there's a DJ and there's like two people dancing, <laughs> if you can call it that, entertainers, let's call them entertainers, and yeah there's just lots of music it's kind of nightclub-esque or kind of pre-drinks-esque um it finishes at 11 p.m so i can imagine a lot of people especially students will just go out straight after it because you're on quite a, an adrenaline high um yeah it's just great and the thing is you can tell it kind of targets my generation and maybe the generation above I guess the generation below but there were some songs that were played that I thought geez you know the adults <laughs> that are at uni at the moment probably have never heard of this song so yeah it was just like full of loads of 90s and early noughties classics bangers <laughs> it was yeah it was great fun so i will rewind to last night and show you what we got up to nom nom nom, nom. <laughs> We've had two calls. 
one on the ground, one on the balcony. The one on the ground is another dick. As you will have seen, my jammy friend Ellie actually got two full houses, one after the other. I imagine she's probably gutted that it wasn't the last two rounds that she won one after the other because the last two rounds were worth, I think, £200 and then £1,000 and she ended up getting £150 but still... You can't grumble at that, so yeah, none of the rest of us actually won anything, but yeah, taking part that counts. Uh, I didn't go to win anything, it was just, it was good fun, it was really fun. And then afterwards we just went to a nice, like, garden-inspired bar, that was really nice. Um, I can't remember what it was called, like the Bottle Garden or something and had dessert basically. So I had a Toblerone martini, which was so, so nice. But yeah, I didn't end up getting home until about half past 12. And then, you know when like, you've been out and you've seen lots of flashing lights and it's been really loud and you've been singing and just chatting and just being out in general, I just felt wired. And because the night before, just checking on Ella, right? she's currently playing on the floor at the minute. Um, yeah, because the night before, Ellery had a really bad night. I think I saw every hour. So I was just fueled by caffeine and there was no way I, I wasn't going out. So yeah, fueled by caffeine. So I think just by the time I got home, yeah, I was just absolutely dead. And then... I was sort of falling asleep around half past one and all I could hear was birds tweeting. I was thinking, have I like fallen asleep and woken up and it's about 5am? But I checked my phone and it was half past one. So frustrating. And then Ellery ended up waking up at two, wanting a feed. So I probably had about 10 minutes sleep. But then thankfully she did sleep until half past seven. But again, that's probably five hours. If I'm lucky, I woke up quite a lot. You always do when you drink, don't you? Even though I, did, I didn't drink loads. Um, I'm like fully functioning today. Like I knew that I was obviously going to be looking after Ellery. Aaron's gone to the football with his dad. So no, I just wouldn't want to be in that sort of state anyway. Even if he was here, it's just not worth it. But yeah, I'm just shattered. So it's a chill day for us. I think... We'll go out for a little walk later. It's nice and sunny and I can probably do with the fresh air. So once she's had her nap, because she just doesn't sleep in the pram anymore, she's too interested in what's going on in the outside world. Yeah, we'll probably go for a walk. Even though it's Saturday, I might brave nipping into Aldi. I just want to see if they've got any nice kind of weaning bits. Um, see if they're any cheaper than Tesco and yeah that's about it really so I just thought I'd bring you along with us today we're not doing much but we'll just bring you along maybe bring you along tomorrow it might end up turning into a weekly vlog I'm not entirely sure but it just feels a long time since I've just sat and talk to you basically and even though I'm on my own and Ellery you know is being great and entertaining herself I still managed to let my tea go cold it's just always stuff to do isn't there always stuff to do um yeah I need to start playing some games with her we've received the nine to ten month baby health questionnaire so there's lots of things that they ask you to do with your baby like really random like there's one where 
they ask you to put a raisin inside a clear like water bottle or baby bottle and you have to see if your baby tries to get it out I mean I can imagine that there is logic behind it but it just seems really bizarre <laughs> when it's written down on paper that that's what they want you to do um, but yeah there's quite a lot that I need to do with that and that needs to be handed in in under a month so need to get cracking at least she's going to have a good month to practice some things if she's not quite there yet because it's hard to know sometimes what you should be doing with your baby um so yeah it's nice to have like this little guideline of oh okay it's a possibility that they could be there but at the same time it's also like ooh, she's nowhere near doing that yet and you know your mum guilt kicks in and you panic a little bit but yeah i'm going to go and have some time with ellery now we'll have a little play go for a walk and then i made her some jelly the other day so i think i'll probably get that out and we'll just have some messy play time um yeah we'll see you in a bit <laughs> Something about you supernatural I get goosebumps every time you call Got me running through my fantasies 40 West, I'm doing 93 Tell me what So, just a little tip for those of you that do have younger children, babies at home This Shout Stain Removing Spray is amazing we got this on amazon we got a few in a pack and you're not going to be able to tell but the whites have come out so well so you just spray it directly onto the stains before you put it into the wash and some of these baby grows like i don't know which one because she has some of the same they're literally covered in like a red purple berry puree absolutely covered and it's all completely gone amazing so ellery is down for a nap and i've just decided to chill with a hot cup of tea watching a bit of Gemma louise miles on youtube and i have just ordered the last few bits for the lounge which i'm really excited about you might be able to see behind me a little sneak peek of the wall that I have decorated. The lounge, like decorate with me video, will be live as soon as I'm just completely finished with it. So should be finished with it very soon because I have just purchased some new cushions, a new throw and a new footstool. So hopefully that is just going to tie everything in together so i'm really really looking forward to those coming they should be here at least by thursday but i find with dunham that the delivery is usually quite quick so i'm hoping it might even be quicker than that but i'll give you a little sneak peek at what i've decided to buy okay so here i've just ordered another hand towel which we have got in the downstairs toilet Aaron came up with a really good point that when it's in the wash, what are we going to put there? And I don't want to put just any old random coloured one, it wouldn't look right, so I've ordered another one. So that can go there when the other one's in the wash. I've gone for an olive theme, so I've got this basket weave olive cushion. There's like this cream circular abstract one. There's like an oblong rectangular olive cushion. I've gone for a velvet olive poof footstool and then like a, a sage tufted um oh no it's a cushion cover i didn't realize that rats mm, okay hopefully it's going to fit one of the cushions that i've already got ah and then i've also ordered a teddy bear throw as well Um, I mainly want 
wanted to go and get some peanut butter because I've not tried her with this allergen yet. So for this, this, this smooth peanut butter, 280 grams was £1.15, which in Tesco you're going to pay at least £3. And then let's see. She loves these piccolo ones. Okay, I did get the apple and raspberry with whole grain oats. <laughs> but I've had to give it to Ellery because she just won't sit in a bouncer otherwise. Not to feed herself, by the way, just to hold it. <laughs> um, I've also got the strawberry, banana and peach with whole grain oats. So she loves the ones that are just all fruity and sweet but I thought I would try her with this one so this is a textured one I've only tried her with smooth purees so she has the smooth purees and she has finger foods but I've not tried a textured puree so this is garden vegetable three grain risotto with cheese and basil I know she loves cheese so I'm hoping she might like this might try her with that tonight and then I thought I'd try one of the Audi ones. Not tried them yet, just to see if she likes them. I mean, they're a lot cheaper. So the smaller Piccolo ones were 99p, and then this bigger one was £1.35. But then this was only 59p, so if she does like them, then I may have to start guessing these because they're just as good no added stuff but yeah and then I thought I would try her on this uh, biscotti finger food she loves the Heinz apple ones so I thought I'd try her on the Aldi strawberry ones and then I'll try her with the raspberry and blueberry rice cakes and the tomato wheels there she is look Miss Ellery May, just have to have something in your mouth, don't you? Hey, making all that noise. Hey! Shall we get your jelly out? Mummy made you some jelly. Shall we have some messy play? Shall we? Yeah, that's a yeah. Are you dancing to your book? Now dodge. That's it, that's it. Dodge. Oh. <laughs> They're all over the place. You've got to move. You've got to be oh looking God, around. Oh, God, did they lose anybody yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, to look, you've got to look up and down and everything. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one's not working. Reload. My love has got no power, he's got his strong beliefs. My 